We've all played in games where after a while, things go a little bit, well, flat. Whether that's as a, as a player or a dungeon master, you know, it happens. But let's discuss this. Let's talk about why this happens and what we can do to keep players interested in the story and the worlds that we're running. Hey guys, I'm Loki, and welcome back to The Lair. I've run many games in the past, and I know a thing or two about things going flat. So who better to get it from than somebody who's been through the ringer many times. My first piece of advice is to consider what your players enjoy about your game. Do they like big battles? Heroic quests? Political intrigue? Or do they love just getting stuck nice and deep into a hellish dungeon crawl? Searching for treasure, desperate to survive. Understanding your audience, uh, or your players actually, is probably a better way of looking at this, and being able to weave between each player is really important because, you know, every player is different. And that's crucial for running a good game. D&D isn't one of those all sizes fits all games. Some of your players might really enjoy role play, whilst others might prefer combat. It's important that if this is the case, give them both. When new players join my game, I usually fish around to figure out what they enjoy. If a player joins my game and tells me that they used to play AD&D back in the day and they look back on the dungeon crawling very fondly and they'd like to do something like that in my game, then it's fair to say I've got a dungeon crawler on my hands, right? You might also like other things too, but you know, you figured that out as you play. Now, it can be difficult, but another thing to consider is keeping the story interesting. Don't have your players do the same thing constantly, you know, unless they really want to. It can be a bit uh, monotonous, you know, a little, a little, yeah, it can be a bit tedious. And players can lose interest quite quickly in things like that. You know, it's not a bad idea to allow your players to take a break from the main story or plot of your campaign and allow them to follow up on some loose ends. Maybe a group of bandits at the party encountered when they were a very low level, level one or two who've now built up a base nearby and want revenge for their fallen comrades that were slain in that encounter. Another idea is to add some twists and turns to your story, some surprises for your players. Even if it means you go off the railroad a little bit, and uh, in one of my campaigns, for example, this happened quite a few years ago, uh, I had the king and most of the upper nobility assassinated at this feast that the players were attending and it was you know crazy chaotic it was kind of like a more badass version of the red wedding from game of thrones but it culminated with the party face becoming a duke of a large region and actually mentoring along with a number of the other players mentoring the teenage prince um into kingship and that's pretty darn cool they also got to lead battles and, and and avenge the people who died it was just a very cool story i'm not saying jump to an extreme and start killing off your npcs but it does work if all else fails i don't want to worry anybody with this video you know and i don't want you guys to start thinking oh, to do my group uh, think i'm fun or not i'm sure your, your players are having a great time i'm just trying to give you guys some tips and tricks to keep things going in a good direction and you know to give you guys a bit of a refresher as well and I, I definitely know i've needed it at times myself so i've always found that bringing the action to the party is a good way of getting your players hooked and, and interested in what you're doing obscure quest hooks from obscure locations can be interesting at times especially when it's improvised but most players don't want to spend half a session meandering around town looking for something fun to do having the farmer rush into the arms of the fighter close to death telling the party that the gnolls have attacked their village i mean there is very little that a player will appreciate and respect more than you allowing them to seize the moment you know it's a really special thing and uh that really is seizing the moment if you're running a dungeon crawl like the Barrow Maze or the Temple of Elemental Evil or one of the many other dungeon crawls that are out there, having side quests that lead the party to do certain things that they wouldn't normally do in the dungeon like look for some lost information or retrieve a statue 
Uh, it might seem weird to add that dynamic, but it actually is really, really cool. And um, it gets your players thinking about different things. They're not just trying to fight things or trying to get treasure. They're also trying to do this other job. And this other job can really keep the, the blood ru you know, running to their heads. It can really keep them in the zone. And yeah you know if you if you include a sage in the group or or something like that and the sage wants information you you know you get it gives you an opportunity to do some role play with the party and that's always fun right throwing down these breadcrumbs and leading the party forward allows you to create these payoff situations where the party come across a powerful enemy and perhaps one that's related to the adventure and the main story and they can clash so that's what I really like. Side stories can kind of side quests can lead into the main quest if you want it to. But anyway, thanks for watching today's video. Yeah, I, I am sorry for the absence recently. I've had some issues in my personal life which I'm addressing, and uh, I'm hoping to get back uh, into the swing of things and creating more regular content soon. Thanks, obviously, to all of you guys who support me and, and uh, support the channel. I really do appreciate it, especially in times like this. I'll see you guys next time on Lucky's Lair. Until then, thanks.